John in London. Hello. November 1st, my video is all about recovery from addiction to substance or behavior. Addictive substances, alcohol, drugs, you name it. We can get addicted to anything. And it's exactly the same goes for behavior. We get addicted to people, places or things and we become obsessive. And then we become driven by self-obsession, often trying to be right, trying to fit in, trying to be perfect and never so. So the same applies whether we're an addict or, no, or just an ordinary person. We can fall into addiction and obsessive behaviour. And it's very difficult to get out of because we're always trying to fix ourselves in some way. What helps me keep in recovery one day at a time is a fellowship, AA, Alcoholics Anonymous. And there are many fellowships out there all about getting balance back into life and that bridge to normal living. And all, it's really strange, you know, the ordinary living is extraordinary because we actually see it and feel it as it's happening, living in the now. Something called spiritual is the ability to cope with now. It's always now, not tomorrow, and it's not the past. So if we want to live in the present day, we develop a spiritual outlook which is to deal with everything today as best we can and make plans if we need to. So what helps me keep on this sober path trying to, uh, not trying, but just putting into action always something to make balance happen or not happen by ignoring situations. Well, the Fellowship of AA, Alcoholics Anonymous, has kept me sober, or rather helps me keep sober, by people sharing their experience, strength and hope. Uh, I don't speak for AA, never can, never will, full of unique, authentic people who speak for themselves where they will. But what is AA? and this is the uh, AA preamble shared at the beginning of every meeting and it reads like this Alcoholics Anonymous is a fellowship of men and women who share their experience, strength and hope with each other that they may solve their common problem and help others to recover from alcoholism the only requirement for membership is a desire to stop drinking there are no dues or fees for AA membership we are self-supporting through our own contributions AA is not allied with any sect, denomination, politics, organisation or institution does not wish to engage in any controversy, neither endorses nor opposes any causes. Our primary purpose is to stay sober and help other alcoholics to achieve sobriety. And you'll see the same sort of message on all my videos about addiction and recovery. So I don't, I don't actually represent anyone but my own thoughts and feelings about recovery, or my feelings first and then my thoughts. I concentrate on the uh, 12 steps over the year. November is all about the, t the 11th step which reads sought through prayer and meditation to improve our conscious contact with God as we understood him praying that only for the knowledge of his will for us and the power to carry that out so what I found is uh, people have their own belief system so whether we're agnostic, atheist or believer we all have a concept of God as we understood, understand it today and the good news is whatever floats your boat. You know, life experience teaches us what is important in terms of believing or not believing but if we have a conscious contact to our good conscience on a daily basis what is right in this situation given all the variable things that are going on where do I start and for me it's sober. So I share daily reflections here uh, one, one a day for the next 31 days all about prayer and meditation and it starts off November 1st from this book Daily Reflections from AA Get knowledge where it's due that's what I say I cannot change the wind in other words I can't change nature, providence I cannot change the rest of the world it is easy to let, let up on the spiritual program of action and rest on our laurels where well, it's going to happen anyway we, head, we are headed for trouble if we do, for alcohol is a subtle foe. So in other words, if we don't look after our spiritual condition, so being sober, we can fall by the wayside very quickly and become dry drunk or worse, relapse into drinking. And the same applies to drugs or behaviour. My first sponsor told me there are two things to say about prayer and meditation. First, I had to start praying and meditating. And second, I had to continue praying and meditating to good conscience, let alone anything else. When I came to AA, my spiritual life was bankrupt. If I considered God at all, he was to be called upon only when my self-will was incapable of a task or when overwhelming fears had eroded my ego, hence the expression, oh my God.
Today I am grateful for a new, a new life, one in which my prayers are those of thanksgiving. My prayer time is more for listening than for talking. I know today that if I cannot change the wind, nature, providence, the universe, I can adjust my sail, in other words, develop my choices based on what is reality. I know the difference between superstition and spirituality, which is if I pray to God and hope for a miraculous event to happen to save me, I might be barking up the wrong tree. It might be a good idea to say, okay, nature, providence and the universe, in good conscience, what's my next choice? I know there is a graceful way of being right and many ways to be wrong. We only know what's right by the end of the day. In other words, we don't know if we're right or wrong until we've done it. But there are some things we know will hinder and not help anyone. So sober first. So we've got a clear head, open, honest and willing to continue. And at the end of my videos, I will share the serenity prayer, which is to good conscience God or whatever it is that you consider to be a guide in your life. So to God, all good conscience, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot do. I cannot change the wind. Courage to change the things I can. I can set my sail in a different way. And the wisdom to know the difference for today is based on reflection, prayer and meditation.